We have never seen the deputy president address coronavirus. He has been in a hole. He was smoked out last week. And that is the only time when he came out saying how he talks with the party leader regularly. All right? But the minute we talked about Jubilee Party, he went haywire. Well, he went around the other day saying there are some ministers who wanted to kill him. They still sit there in cabinet and everybody says his peace. He also says his peace. And government continues. This country cannot work when you have this kind of antagonism, when you have some people whose only focus is 2022. The deputy president only woke up when he felt his position in Jubilee is threatened. He should come out and tell Kenyans what is it about populating members of the National Management Committee that is so important to him unless he wanted again to come and manipulate the party elections the way he did with the party nominations. I just said we are Jubilee. Jubilee has interim officials. Everybody who is there is an interim, including him. In order to be validated as elected leaders, the secretariat has a job to do. If we do credible party recruitment, party registers and party elections, we will see who works and who doesn't work. But even if we're still in control of Jubilee, we would like our Jubilee to reach out to other parties like Musalia's party, Kalonzo's party, ODM. The new formation should have the face of Kenya. So that people focus less on the infighting and the scramble for power, but on delivering on the agenda for the public, for the citizens of this country. My friend at Holi here, he decided to change because it is Easter Monday. I was not aware he was going to invite the former Prime Minister. I was not aware he was going to invite uh, Eugene Wamalwa. It's a pleasant meeting of uh, minds and when people meet everything is on that table but nothing specific he says he talks to the party leader and now he's coming out interrogating party issues on twitter on social media now what is what if they talk isn't this an internal party matter which he can uh, raise uh, his phone or just walk into state house and discuss it with his uh, party leader. Then the party leader will reprimand. Then the party leader, he is now purporting to speak on behalf of the party leader. Kwani party leader hana sauti ya kusema ye mwenyewe. Let him focus on fighting the corona. Let us see him together with Mutahi Kagwe, with the committees of Kinamatiangi, with Kina Eugene Wamalwa, when they are feeding the people in the yeah. informal settlements. The only time he seems to come out is when the name Jubilee and 2022 are put in one sentence. His obsession with 2022 is what we are having a problem with.